This film is based on a book that's yes. been around for uh, a number of decades now. Yes. Um, why do you think it took so long to get to the big screen, and why were you interested in adapting it? Well, I read this book first when I was like 13, 14, something like that. It's a kind of classic in, in Britain, and sold millions of copies since it was published in 1954 originally. Um, and it captured my imagination because it's a story about Rome, but it's a, a story about the, the edge of the Roman Empire and where Rome meets the unknown. You know, and it, it, it's, it's about a, 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 a master and a slave, a Roman soldier played by Channing and his slave played by Jamie Bell, who cross over Hadrian's Wall into the unknown on this quest together. And there's something about that concept of, and, and the landscape that you're gonna go into. I knew that landscape in Scotland going up there. Um, that I always thought this would make a great, this would make a great movie. And um, partly I wanted, to, I wanted to put, you know, make a kind of cowboy movie in Scotland. That's always been a kind of, a thing I thought was an intriguing concept. You uh, made a point to avoid CGI as much as possible. Mm. Use a lot of practical effects. That mm. puts a lot of pressure on your actors. Yes. Uh, you really kind of put them through. Uh, now we put the we put the you? actors through through their paces. I mean, it's it's uh, you know coming from a documentary background. I did, I once did a film called Touching the Void, which was uh, all uh, mountain climbers in the Andes, and we sort of went to the Andes and we did it all for real and had people hanging off ropes and at night and storms and stuff. And when you do that, people don't have to act much because it's, you know, you know what it's like to be hanging off a rope in the middle of the yeah. night in the storm because you're there. And the same with this, you know, if you actually dress people in the authentic clothes so that they have to, they, 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 you know, with Channing for somebody's wearing his Roman uniform, it makes you walk in a different way, makes you steer posture in a different way. And um, so you have to sort of start to inhabit the period a bit. And likewise, when we were in Scotland and it was freezing cold, raining the entire time, and they're just wearing a little woolen cape or whatever and huddling around, you know, it makes you realize what it would have been like, and they and they and, and improves the performance, I think. But tough for them. Channing Channing was, you know, never wants to go to Scotland again in his life. Yeah. You know? Well, I mean, he has a visceral, you know, memory of. <laughs> look, you burn your genitalia anywhere, <laughs> you're not going to want to go back to that place. There's some truth to that, but I don't think it's only about burning his genitalia. I think it's about, you know. He called it Planet Rain, I seem to remember, because it's kind of like it's an alternate world where it's never dry is Scotland. And, you know, I think that was what got him down more than anything else. You know, the constant cold and the wet. And, uh, you know, you're in places on top of hills where there's no shelter. There's no would be you just got to put up with it and huddle with your horse. <laughs> uh, you have recently announced that you're doing a Bob Marley biopic. I know that you're really early in, into the process. Yes. But big aspect has to be obviously who's going to play him are you getting well more unfortunately there's a little little bit of false information actually because i am doing a bob marley film but it's a documentary i'm not oh, okay. actually doing a biopic um so i'm actually I, I part of the reason is because i think it's very very difficult to so, make a, do a biopic because i don't know who you would get to play him because yeah. the thing about bob is that like a lot of icons like that we all know what he looks like we all know his charisma because we've seen him perform how do you how do you find someone who has that charisma? It's always going to be a step down, and I think that's difficult in a lot of biopics. So you can confirm that Bob Marley will be played by Bob Marley? Bob Marley will be played by Bob Marley in this film. And yeah, no, we're, I'm going around interviewing everybody, everybody who knew him, really, and uh, making a film which hopefully will reveal the man and the, and the, real, the real story of, of him rather than the kind of the legend.